Hello Slayers, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to red, white, and royal blue. I got a royal blue kind of vibe on, on perp. I know nothing about this movie. Didn't read the book, I just like literally found out it was a book. I heard it wasn't even written by a gay person, which is like okay, but like interesting. I literally have no idea what this is about. I actually like going into movies that way. If I'm watching a trailer, I'll stop it immediately when I feel like it's good. I don't read like the descriptions. I do want to start uh, reacting to, or not reacting, but looking at the IMDb rating. I am a big IMDb person. It's literally on my first page and it's been like that for over 10 years. So I do want to start comparing like the rating to like my around rating. So a 7.1 I would consider definitely good like for a horror movie anything over a five i would consider watching otherwise any it has to be like over a six so a 7.1 like is really good i will watch a movie if it's under those readings but i have to like really want to watch it and it's probably very telling if you'd like to watch this fully uncut, I have a Patreon, I will link it below. But if you prefer the YouTube edit, I appreciate it, and let's get into it. It was a storybook ceremony today inside Westminster Abbey. Thousands came to cheer the couple, and to cheer the prince's younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as Prince of England's Hearts, and their younger sister, Princess Beatrice, whom all the world adores. The no, wedding Beatrice. reception is a who's who of international guests, including Alex Clermont Diaz, the charismatic son of the American president. Also representing the US is Nora Holleran, the vice president's granddaughter. She's talking about us. Mr. Clermont Diaz is often referred to as the American Prince Henry. <laughs> okay, you've been yucking my yum all day. What's going on with you? I love that term. It's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. That was a little corn, but I'm accepting it. Just remember you're handsome and charming and everyone loves you. Animated. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear that he is not 6'2". <laughs> it's possible to see. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you as well. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Skirt. Where's my chapstick? Wow, that last nice. They like this editing, the choppiness. You don't really see that in movies. Long time no see. Alex, killer wedding man. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh yeah, who doesn't love a little Mozart? You gotta wonder how many families <sighs> can see is what this cake costs. Oh, Tell me something, Your Majesty. Uh, magnificent day. <laughs> yes, Alex. I like that he kind of made a shoe joke, a subtle kind of culturally known gay joke. I settle down. We are the same height. If you say so, Alex. Great to see you. You too, Your Majesty. Actually, it's Your Royal Highness. Your Majesty. I think the dark hair one is taller. Oh my God. I not so the fashion. Oh, come on. Wait, though. <laughs> that was probably so fun. Henry! What a waste of cake, though. Reputation. Hear that, Zara? He's opening with a joke. Maybe he can host the correspondence dinner next year. I'd be down. No. I sent you to London with some pretty simple instructions. Represent the family at the royal wedding and don't- I thought that was Uma Thurman. Oh my god, it is. Wow. Don't. He's not six foot two. Is he gonna fact shit on me? Yes. And I can assure you that making it was one of the most- It's funny that like they're kind of harping on the height thing because height is a thing. <laughs> You whose role is clearly Shout out to spelled the out in Article Kings. Nothing of the U.S. Constitution. You can pay all you want, but the mini should see. No. And there is no getting out of this. Oh, yeah? What if I set myself on fire? We'd ship the ashes to Heathrow. Ooh. Catherine, Duchess of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. First class is such of His Majesty King goals. James III. Hey. Did you know? <laughs> 
I miss Copenhagen. Big smiles for the camera, please. <laughs> My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Oh, we finished it. Yes, we will, Highness. Love his outfit. Thank you. Thank you Sean. I thought that was Yusuf Never from really. Heartstopper for a sec. Can you two scooch in a little closer together? No, that's gay. So, Alex, what do you think of jolly old England? I was Alex assuming is... that they didn't know each other were gay, but now I kind of feel like they do. What but three words did I use to describe? Do you know who this is? Well, his mom is the president of the United States. And my mom is the Duchess of Edinburgh, which means that his mom outranks my mom. <gasps> Wait. Her staying outside is so funny. I'm surprised the people making this didn't find this insensitive in a time like this for comedic value. It's really interesting. I could have been nicer. Okay, so they're in a life or death situation, so they're gonna have like the spark edge moment or connection moment. I feel like it's not going to be a shooting for some reason. I know that was kind of random, but it's very quiet in the background. I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Hmm. Oh. Threat neutralized. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. We say neutralized. It's good he's already in the hospital. <laughs> Okay. Perhaps my favorite character. <laughs> oh my god, her <laughs> standing in the background. Why is she hilarious to me? Aww. They're both really Wrong. handsome in different ways. Party. Most people would kill to get invited to my party. That's perfect. You can kill me and I won't have to go. Wait, it's funny <laughs> that... <laughs> Never mind. I know, I know. Stand to your right. He seems like a nice enough guy. Hey, you and mom taught me to question authority. Mm. I'm honestly curious if the actor of Alex Taylor is putting on like a type of voice or if it's his actual voice. Not that it matters. I'm just genuinely interested in that. I know it's seeming like I'm not into this movie, I feel like. The only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm into it. But like... We're 20 minutes in and I need the romantic part to come on. Like, that's why we're here. I should get going. Get one of birthday, Miguel. He's familiar to me. Mm, spec. I wonder how old they're supposed to be. Did they say that? I want to know how old the actors are. It's full okay, of so time. Alex is born in 1991 and... Prince Henry was born in 1994. I was born in 1993. I'm turning 30, guys, in on December 30th. My golden year. There's this American tradition where the president pardons a turkey before Thanksgiving. Looks kind of sad. Are they really together? I'm like confused, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna really fail. Why surprise you anyway? I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Okay. Fine. This is really cool. How third doing this i've never seen this this is really cool good night i love that who's ever creative choice that was that was really cool new christmas time rocking the orange orange must be colorblind this is obviously copper you are so annoying nora that was annoying this is my best <laughs> mate plus your hunter i have been drunk since christmas you gotta catch up <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. I wanna see Henry dance. <laughs> you don't dance? Forward lessons didn't exactly cover this. All in the hips. Loosen up. <laughs> oh my god, this is the song of my childhood. Honestly, I love that we're in the same age. Around. Oh, ski ski, motherfucker. Oh, ski ski, gotta dance.
I love these little creative things. Like, what a cool feeling. <laughs> oh my god. They can't kiss in front of all these people, right? Oh wait, but everyone's... Oh. Honestly, the person you kiss on New Year's might be bad luck in personal ex uh, experience. <laughs> The soundtrack is great. His style is fire. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> Who would you be? Be a writer. <laughs> Live in Paris. Same, I would do that. I'd certainly date more. People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. You're talking Relatable. <laughs> <gasps> Didn't see that coming. Interesting. Henry, wait. Oh, uh, we're gonna let him go. Got it. Processing. And prosperity. <laughs> hey, Nora. Okay, Ren. What's that? <laughs> Henry kind of kissed me. Call that. Oh, shut up, Nora. You did not. He has never once checked me out, and. I am what some men would consider exquisite. So from where I'm sitting, Henry is... Kind of gay? More like the first 50 rows of a Gaga concert kind of gay. But he's <laughs> always dating a different girl. Princes aren't allowed to be gay. You should know that. The first gay prince. Well, what Did I forget your birthday? I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? Wrong. No, 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 no. Okay. Allow me to... Um, Love the language. Yeah, some observation. First, you've been like completely obsessed with Henry for years. I've not Do not interrupt me. You've been <laughs> long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. Objectively, what do you think that means? I don't know. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I don't know, I wow. don't know! Great acting. Okay, How many guys have you been with? Whoa. Oh, she heard that, I think. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Once in high school. And once with Miguel Ramos. The political reporter! Shut up! Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Is this the year that the Democrats finally flipped Texas? Probably not. I need your help. Where's the threat? Do we need to clear the room? What? No. <laughs> I just need to talk to Henry. My favorite character. I forgot about her. <laughs> Henry's awkwardness. Alright, time's up. We gotta get back to Oh God. <laughs> the... Okay, that was Sorry, funny. Still... Stonehenge. Your royal hardness. <laughs> or Big Ben. Nelson's Colin. Uh -huh. There you are. Hi, Ma. Yes. From it. The night is young, Ma. <laughs> Then at midnight, you're going to come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. <laughs> oh my god. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Bye, Heartstopper. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. To be clear, this changes nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. You went. <laughs> yes, this changes nothing. Take that fucking jacket off. You start to... Melbourne Climate Conference. Press night party. Wow. You had a lot going on that night. <laughs> Tell me about it. I really thought you hated me. I hate it. I think you left. <laughs> oh, I like the key necklace. Get her done. Wait, did he do anything back to... Key to my family's house Henry? in Austin. Wow. Wait, I need to go back. I'm surprised. I didn't realize. I started wearing it when we moved here. The key to my family's house in Austin. I started wearing it when we moved here. That's really cute. I guess you could say I'm bisexual. I was gonna say that the friend was talking about them like being gay. She was like, what does this mean? I was gonna say that they're bisexual perhaps, but I didn't, fuck. Oh, oh God, yes, notorious. Yeah. Finally, Henry's being like cooler, <laughs> like more chill. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Me neither. That's what I was gonna say. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. 
Okay. Oh, no, no, that's get not what I meant. Over when I said yourself, your Majesty. It's your Royal Highness. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. Uh, Charity Polo Match in Windsor next month that my mate Percy's foundation organizes. I um, I was wondering if you might want to be my guest. I don't know how to play polo. You won't be playing. You'll be watching on the sidelines. Great. That's probably safer for everyone. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Horses. We love a horse. <laughs> The depression is hitting. Get yours. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah, I could eat. Goals. <laughs> oh, my friends in Paris right now. So beautiful. Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. My full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stewart Fox. And I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. Wow. Does anyone in your family know about you? My sister B is the only one I've told. My mom probably suspects my brother Philip is completely oblivious. Okay. Grandpa's a cold hard realist. He sat me down on my 18th birthday and told me not to let any selfish desires I might be harboring reflect poorly on the crown. That I had is a feeling some bullshit. He would know. I think we should make love tonight. Oh. I'm, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> Who says make love anymore? We're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do it? All right, all right. <laughs> oh my God. It's just it's just, who's gonna do what? Because I'm, I've never. <laughs> it's whatever you guys oh feel God. like. I am so now. <laughs> then. I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands. A soft top. <laughs> Finally, take it off. I can't <laughs> breathe. Oh my God, the button to the top. Just to rip it. The buttons are quite sturdy. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. Love you guys. Mm. <laughs> okay, not a soft top. <laughs> I can't believe how long it was about you. Most people are. Oh. Now you're inside of him. Sorry. <laughs> this feels so good, guys. <laughs> I'm dead. Mm, romantic. I just want to talk on that sex scene really quick. That was really tastefully done. I know a lot of the gay content is overly sexualized. Like, to me, like, this was just mature adult content movie like an adult movie like a heart stopper like that's for like the teens i mean um, the teens are watching this too and loving it but this was just done really nicely so far <laughs> not that i am opposed to a raunchy fucking moment like true blood is one of my favorite shows just like the queerest folk the remake like i don't like like that was just like yucky i don't know even though I watched it and I actually like liked it and really appreciated the Buffy of you that references, shout out Ryan O'Connell, I love him. He's my favorite part of it, but stop. You were 27, not 28 when you won your first election. Ask any of the women who work for you. They'll be able to tell you that. Wow, I love that. We're sending you to Texas. Really? You'll have a shoestring budget, you'll eat fast food for every meal. You'll work 18 hour days and you'll love every minute of it. So what do you say? When do I start? I have a boy burn now. Your body comes back to me in my dreams. I can feel your skin against mine and it makes every bone in my body ache. Henry, seriously. I'm out here giving my all for my mother. I can't have smut filling my inbox, corrupting my mind and bulging my pants like this. Look, buddy, you know I am incorrigible. 
so don't encourage me. I'll behave. Really makes me want to visit. Yes, I was just thinking that I want you to come and see it one day. Oh, yeah. there's so much that I want to show you. I think it's you'd really like place. Austin most especially. I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. And then I want to look at Oh my it god, on brand, actually. Wait, don't they have napkins? Art imitates my life. Uh, what are you doing here? Mm. I'm just called Dougery. Let me help the planet. Oh my god, yeah, she's back. We need to get up to my room right now. The tea. <laughs> you ever been on Grinder? <laughs> what, what's unsuccessful? <laughs> Hmm, what's your favorite movie? Oh, In the Mood for Love. I've never seen it. Neither have I. God. Maybe we'll have to react to that. God, sometimes I forget how uncultured you Americans are. It is only the swooniest movie of all time. Have you ever had your heart broken? No, really? The day my dad died. I was gonna say family. Oh. <laughs> Coming in. Hey, oh. do you mind? Oh, Come on. Yes, Sarah. Close on now. Sarah. What are you doing? Much appreciated. Where is she? No. Where is she? What Hello? are you doing? Okay, but Little like... Missy? Zara, please, who are you? It's all chill. You let her bring her phone in here, transmitting God knows what to really chill. Uh. Good morning. Zara? <laughs> Pretty. Don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to sit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Where, where, where do you want to go? Literally, no one but you. And the Secret Service. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really. <laughs> okay, shut up, okay? The both of you. I oh, I love that. That was so funny. Oh, please don't tell my mom. Seriously? Alex, we are in a hotel crawling with reporters in a city filled with cameras She's on alive. the precipice of the biggest event of the campaign. And you're asking me not to tell your mommy on you? I have a delicious. Told you. Oh, gee, kid. But you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. <laughs> Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my life. All right. <laughs> and in the lobby in five minutes, so we can get your mother reelected. I'll be there. And as for you, little Lord Fuckleroy, you get your ass back to Maryland, <laughs> England right now. I want you chewing on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. You got me? Loud and clear. Wow, that was great. Your Royal Highness. Yes. Slayer right there. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, darling. What a nice space. You look oh, very the door serious. Like that. Cool. She's also a he, and he happens to be Henry. As in the Prince of England. Yeah. We're gonna need some pizza. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> what mom and buy. Oh, all right. Well, you know the B in LGBTQ is not a silent letter. Yes, thank you, mom. Hmm. I mean, if I've had more warning, I could've. A relationship like this will define your life. I don't know if we're there yet, mom. I don't know if we ever will be. Speaking mm -hmm. like a top. Uh, we Dear Henry, mm -hmm. well, I just came out to my mom. My parents bought a vacation house after my mother's book was published. It's too and I there to chill over Labor Day weekend with my dad. Dad, what is this music? It's so not the vibe. It's great to see you again, sir. What's with the sir? Please, it's not call the me. vibe. Call Stop. Me. Oh, well, in that case, you can call me. Wait a second. Me and Alex have, like, basically the same shorts. <laughs> Oh, he's wearing his hat, and he's fitting in, and he's wearing a cowboy hat. Gonna he's make a supersonic man out of you. Oh, he's falling, guys. I keep on falling. Yeah. Lazarus wakes. Your mom and I were a stupid idea, too. We were just babies when we had you. Nobody thought we'd make it. Uh -huh. Because now. My mom will hopefully be in office again, and we won't have to worry about winning any more national elections. What I mean to say is, Henry. Oh, Bean. What happened in Texas? Oh, you could tell that that dog doesn't know him. <laughs> oh, Hen. I'm so sorry. Oh, he looks so handsome. 
prepared to let you say what you need to say, and then I'd like you to leave. What's going on, Henry? A week ago, we were happy, and then you disappear without saying a word? Oh my god. I think you at least owe me an explanation. I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you, knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, my life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. Hmm. What could this be? My father used to bring me here. When I was younger, I would dream of taking somebody I loved here. And he loved it as much as I did. We dance right here amidst all these statues. Just a daft pubescent fantasy. Oh no, and I can help. Britney Spears reference. Falling in love. I want you to have some part of me. That's like a special ring. Oh my god, the key. The key to my heart. The key to my heart. It tears us apart. I'm just a little bored. We know like they're gonna be happy at the end. What I liked about Heartstopper, like always good, and it, like these lols that we know how they're gonna end. It's like a snooze. They we really need to bring back 90 minute movies. <clears throat> Where's your grandpa? Uh. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. <gasps> They're posted overnight to Reddit. The mayor and the son ran them. Sorry, Henry. That's in. I need to call. That's beyond. I'm afraid you can't. As a precaution. You've done what? They've taken my phone and laptop as well. No. Why is this anyone's business? After all, Alex Claremont Diaz is a private citizen. Oh my citizen. God! It was he him. A private citizen. What a fucking snake. Well, don't public figures have... Are you really that quick? Or did you perhaps have advanced knowledge that this leak was going to happen? Smart woman. This is honestly a good spin. What was taken from us? But there is another truth. That's much simpler. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love his royal highness. Prince Henry chance. George. Great job. Is it still possible I've crossed my mommy election? Yes. <clears throat> but it's also possible that you just won her the election. Sure. We'll find out next week. I can feel it watching. Oh, I love that. We just have to do everything around here. Call him. Sean Travastava, this is Zara Bankston. Look, I know we said we'd only use these phones in an emergency. Well, <laughs> welcome to that emergency. Work done until you put these two lovesick homosexuals on the phone with one another. I want you to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never see me naked again. Wait, what? I thought you might see my way. Yes, well, <laughs> you might be lousy at keeping secrets, kiddo, but I'm not. Zara, I could kiss you. Touch me and die. <laughs> Slayer. Hmm. Hello? Baby. Alex. Oh my god, are, are you alright? I'm hanging in there. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. Out. Hurry. Please. I'll break the sound barrier for you. Your speech was beautiful. Oh, sorry, I'm white and upper class, so my affection comes with strings. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The king wishes to see you. Both of you. It's all true, Grandpa. Nevertheless, I have directed palace communications to issue a firm denial of these accusations. They are not Oh, he reminds me of a British Gilmar truth. Girls grandpa. It's a truth from which I am determined Richard. to Alex and I love each other. They look so great. Deeply. 
I have read your emails, Henry. They leave no doubt that your love is genuine. Occasionally vulgar, but genuine. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. why must we maintain a traditional royal image? Because, because, who is homosexual? <laughs> homosexual. Yes, so Uh -oh. many people. Right, <coughs> that's settled then. Hmm? What is it that we've settled? Literally. You're all My favorite part of castles and stuff are the ceilings. Look how sick that is. Oh my god, Henry, look at this. Apparently there are crowds forming in Manchester, Sheffield. Hmm. I will no longer be the prince of shame and of secrets. Starting today, the world will know me for who I am. Not who you want me to be. No, you, you can't go out there. Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out there. Henry, my boy, are you sure this is what you want? If you go out there now. I certainly hope not. I love you. I love you more. I think that's up for debate. Woo. Well, it has been. Governor Richards has swept Pennsylvania, Ohio, Minnesota. So grateful you're here. Damn. There are people who will tell you that elections don't matter. What do we do now? Do you still have my key on you? Imagine you didn't. We won. We won. After you. Wow, you really are working class, aren't you? Oh, shut up, your majesty. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a tour of the house? Yes. Read the stuff. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Cute. Oh. She was great. She was great. They did amazing. Oh. Okay. All right, Slayers, that is my movie reaction. I did like it. I really liked the creative side. Like, they did a lot of artsy moments that, like, I really appreciated. Love Story was very nicely done. The cast was really good. Definitely don't, like, connect with it in the ways that I have with Heartstopper, but I feel like I wasn't really expecting that. Mainly, I think it just ran a little long. Like, if everything happened in, like, a 90-minute time span, I guess it's just what love stories are. They meet, they get together, they have the rough patch, and then they either get together or not in the end. Usually they do. So, I mean, we don't really need to drag that out. Do you know what I mean? Let me know any other movies I should react to. Let me know in the comments below if you have any movie suggestions. If you liked this video and would like me to continue, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. It really, really helps me. It's Billy, bitch.